This is Stoke Park Woods. I love and care for these woods. Uh, our Lib Dem Council say that they're safe. Uh, they're going to protect them. They're going to protect the geographical area of the Forestry Commission woods that don't actually need protecting because they're Forestry Commission. So how safe are the woods in general? How safe are they from development encroaching, causing chemical pollution, um, the encroachment of non-native plants, uh, people coming in and just overusing the woods, the fact that the animals can't graze in the green corridors between the Forestry Commission woods and the Woodland Trust woods. Let's see. So this is Hardings Lane and the Hardings Lane entrance to the woods. Over there is the sign that I was talking to you from earlier on. Along the edge of the woods now you can see barriers. This is development that Lib Dems have approved as indeed in the first stages of being built. There we go, the ground is being turned over for new housing already. And when we locals say that we're going for a walk in the woods, what we actually mean is we're going for a walk around a series of woods. So it's not just Stoke Park Wood, it's Pile Hill Copse, Upper Barn Copse, and it's the fields around and the footpaths and bridleways. I'm not in the woods at the moment, not by Mike Thornton's standards, where he says he wants to protect Stoke Park Woods. They're off to the left. This is actually outside the area of the woods on the bridleway. That's one of the entrances from the bridal way into Stoke Park Woods. And that's the Forestry Commission part. This is Crowd Hill Copse, right opposite the Forestry Commission. Butting onto it, as you see many people actually dedicate trees, gates, benches, all sorts of things to dearly departed relatives. That's because of the peace and quiet here. So, Pile Hill Copse, sorry, Crowd Hill Copse. Stoke Park Woods. This water flows from the other copses and the farmers fields into Stoke Park Woods and where it will flow on and eventually into the River Itchen. Think of the pollution that could be carried through the woods and into the River Itchen. Just with my back to the stream, this field you see in front of you, that will become houses served by a major road see the angle of the land, you can see where the water would drain, indeed it drains into Crowd Hill Copse and a little stream, a bit clogged up by wood and things, a little bit dry at the moment when there's been no rain. Excuse me sir. Hello. Um, I don't know if you're aware that these fields are going to be developed or there's a proposal to develop, but how, how would you feel? Well, I quite, I quite like them as they are. <laughs> I don't think, uh, <laughs> I don't think we need uh, any more houses uh, on here. It's nice and quiet. It's uh, obviously it's a nice. I didn't even know this was here until recently. And right. to come out here, you have no idea of how busy sort of Eastley is. No. Um, even just being a mile and, or and so you've away. used it a lot since. I since have. You've... Yeah, yeah. I use it. You know, two at, li at least two or three times a week. Thanks. So, Enjoy yeah. your run. Cheers. Thank you. So this is another entrance into the Woodland Trust woodland. There's a lot of ancient trees there. It's all part of the ancient forest of beer. As you come here, well, here's the field. Can you imagine the devastating effect on this woodland? Again, panning back over here, we've got Stoke Park Wood and the Bridal Way. And the whole place is crisscrossed myriads of paths. That's why local people love it so much up here. You can get lost in the countryside for hours on end. There's a badger set right on the edge of the woods so the badgers would go out into this field to forage. 
Hi, um, I'm a local um, resident here in Fair Oak and um, I wasn't aware that we were doing any of the roads that I've just been told about. Um, and it's a major road which will spoil the countryside that we already have, which is already spoilt by the planning that we've already got in this area. So um, I am interested in really trying to preserve that, um, the, the local um, woods and fields, etc., with no interruption, because we've already got an interruption and it's not necessary to do anything further. Okay, and how often do you come up here? Um, I'm up here probably every day, sometimes twice a day. Golly. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, the countryside is, um, is special it's to important me. important to um, And I have yeah. dogs and horses, etc. So, yes, um, I don't want to uh, see those spoiled at all. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, there you go. That's a couple of comments on a, what day is it? A Wednesday, is it? It's bank holiday week. It's a Wednesday. A couple of people up here. And this is the reason why people are so passionate because of these footpaths there's footpaths and bridleways everywhere this is another one cuts across from stoke park wood that's crowd hill copse on the right on the left you can see upper barn copse and this is our stoke park woods the whole area hello there hi yeah um, I don't know if you're aware of the major development that Eastleigh Borough Council are proposing for these fields. Yeah, we do, yeah. You do. And, and how do you feel about it? Well, something we don't look upon favourably, um, because um, we use the, the, the woods on a regular basis for the last couple of years, walking the dog twice a day. Um, we see lots of other families enjoying the facilities. There's not only the walking, there's the play areas for the, for the young people to... Uh, to uh, get away from computers and uh, social media and uh, yeah, it'd be a shame to see it eroded you know we understand there has to be development but we don't want it in Bishopstoke I'm afraid we're quite um, overwhelmed with building and construction as it is. Thanks. So, how about you? You know I come here twice a day um, with my dog I actually love it here I feel safe here it's so scenic here it would just be absolutely devastating for myself and the dog wouldn't be too happy either close to home and it keeps me happy and out of trouble. So. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Um, just wondering if you're aware of the new development that Eastleigh Council are proposing to put over in the fields there? Yeah, we've, yeah. Seen, we've seen the plans. You've seen the plans and everything. Yeah. So what do you feel about the plans? Um, well, pretty scary, I think, really. Yeah, so you use the woods a lot? Or? We do, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, well, both of us, probably the last 20 odd years, Use it for uh, walking round, running. We Keep run fit. round two or three times a week. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So we're walking up away from Stoke Park Woods now. On yet another footpath. Getting a bit of altitude now. We're getting higher. And you can see over to Bishop Stoke in the distance there. So we're at another junction of the footpaths to meet up with yet another footpath. All marked out nicely. Very, very popular as you've already seen. Right, you see this little, little copse here, tiny little copse? Well this was actually the site of a, a black barn, <laughs> locally called the Black Barn. And uh, it went beyond repair and uh, John Dumford, I think it was, the farmer at the time, had to pull it down. But he cared a lot about the countryside and about his farm, and so he planted that little spinny of trees there, just to help the environment a bit. And in the distance you can see Winchester. That's the extent and beauty of these views as I pan back. Of course, it's working farms as well. Down at the end of the track is Stoke Park Farm. You can just see some cows wandering back up. I'm not going that way today, but you can see it on the website and see pictures and things. That's a beautiful, beautiful view as you look down the lane to the farm and across the fields. It would be tragic that farm is going to be a roundabout with the main 
the State Spine Road, which runs roughly along this lane. And it branches off in a myriad of new housing. This will look very different in a few years' time, if the council get their way. More badger sets. More walkers on the footpath. Well, I'm going to stop prattling. I'm just going to let you listen to the wind, enjoy the view, and the bird song. We're in the Woodland Trust's Upper Barn Cobs now. We still say we're going for a walk in Stoke Park Woods. But this is Woodland Trust, something totally different. And there is the edge of the wood. And that field, housing, major road. I was going to say how lovely and peaceful it was until the army Chinook came flying over. It's quite amazing actually on a Wednesday afternoon, I don't know what time it is, it must be about 4 or 5 o'clock, I don't know, to see so many people up here and it's like that every day, rain or shine, People walking dogs, people running, people just studying nature. In fact, the one person I thought I would see up here today I haven't seen. <laughs> He's normally up here studying nature, but uh, they're not. But anyway, as I say, it's, it's a local amenity and it's busy and it's peaceful and it's good for your soul and it's beautiful. dedicated this gate. And here, let's step out onto the main road and the houses and all the noise and pollution and congestion. Okay, somebody's been here before. Good for them. More rights of way by the way that will be lost. You know, sometimes people will accuse people that protest against development as, as being nimbies, not in my backyard. Well, on this whole walk it's not been in anyone's backyard. I spotted one house that you might lay claim to them being a nimby if they protested. That is about the only house that looks over this part of the woods. Our end of Crowd Hill Cops, and uh, as I say, there's going to be houses, main road. And we have a horse rider.
Well, this is the point where the, the spine road will push through off of the Winchester Road by the Fox and Hounds in Fair Oak. And it comes through here. Another right of way that will be lost to tarmac. And across, this here is actually Woodland Trust Wood. This is Crowd Hill Copse. Uh, sort of push along the edge of Crowd Hill Copse. Again, more rights of way. And through the fields there. Footpath closed. And this used to skirt the woods, this footpath, down to Hardings Lane. Let's have a look why it's closed. Well, there's your answer. That's the end of the footpath. That's why it's closed. Maybe a year or two's time to be open again, but a, a tarmac path up behind people's back gardens, presumably. This is what's in store for the rest of the woods. In my opinion, if the Lib Dems get in again, this is what will happen. Remember, it's the Lib Dems that actually granted planning permission for this. This was all once fields. It used to come blackberrying here. On an ecological note, as you do, got a soak away here. So the new development, at the moment, they've culverted the little bit of stream that goes through there, just sort of into there. So, so what on earth happens to all the, the water that runs off of hard tarmac instead of soaking into grass? can't go to the sewage um, pumping station at Chicknell because it's, well, it can, it will, but I mean it's already over full. So could lead to more flooding. Anyway, enough depression. Let's retrace my steps and we go back into Crowd Hill Cops and walk back through. Here we go, we're going into Crowd Hill Cops. Another runner, new to the area, didn't even know about the development. Another memorial on a bench to a lady called Anne Sladden. Tomorrow to fresh woods and pastures new. As I say, they put these memorials in these places because they're peaceful. Well, here's the bench. And I'm really sorry if, if any of Miss Sladden's family are watching, but a few yards away through those trees if we're not careful, will be picnickers in their gardens, barbecuers I should say, people parking cars, mowing lawns, it will be anything but peaceful here. I've been seeing this plant a lot in the woods lately. I've not noticed it before, perhaps it's just me being ignorant of the flora of the woods. But uh, it's just appeared, I don't know whether it's natural or invasive. Anyone like to put a comment just to let me know what it is, I'd be much obliged. More, <clears throat> more water gathered in the woods, draining away. So back into Stoke Park Woods proper now. First time we've been into Stoke Park Woods in the whole walk, apart from that very first shot. And there's a lady here taking her dogs for a walk. And uh, how often do you come up the woods? Twice a day. Twice a day. Yes. And how would you feel if um, the land adjacent to the woods that we all call Stoke Park Woods, but we know isn't, how would you feel if that was developed? Be devastating. Absolutely devastating. Really? Yes. So it's a real asset to the community yes, you don't yes, want to is. lose? I don't think, to me it's like an area of outstanding beauty, although it's not actually labelled that. Yeah. It really is wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much.
Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Uh, would you mind answering some questions for me? Of course. I, I just wondered, are you aware of the development here? Oh, we've heard of it, yeah, but I've seen sort of a lot of information in the post and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and how would you feel if it, it was developed? I think it'd be a, such a shame, it's such a beautiful area, it isn't is, it? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really... Okay, and how often do you both come up here? It's actually our first time. Your first time? <laughs> yeah, but it's just, it's, we've heard of it and I know my nan walks dogs down here. Like, oh, so right. So we come and venture up, but it's really nice and... I said to you a minute ago, it's like being in the new forest. It's yeah, really that's happy. right, without having to jump in the yeah. car, isn't it? I always say that yeah, too. It's so local, so. Yeah, well, thanks for stopping that's anyway. Right. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. So that's it. That's pretty much the end of my walk around what we locals call Stoke Park Woods. This bit actually is Stoke Park Woods, if you go by Mike Thornton's description of it, being just the Forestry Commission Woods. But most of this video has been around the countryside and the other copses, the Woodland Trust copses and things, which we all call Stoke Park Woods anyway. Uh, so there we go. You can see the houses over there. So I'm going to exit onto the estate once I've gone over these stepping stones, wind my way home and put this up onto the internet. And I'd just like to ask if you if you care at all about this local countryside, please, tomorrow at polling day, think about what you vote. I don't want to tell you what to vote, I'm not going to tell you what to vote. But just think carefully. Just about every party has commented and are opposed to this. The only councillors that haven't commented are Liberal Democrat ones. My own councillor, Trevor Mignot, is very quiet on the matter. He says he's going to protect Stoke Park Woods. That could be geographically the, uh, the uh, Forestry Commission bit alone. He says he's going to preserve a green belt. But if this goes through, there won't be any green belt between here and the South Downs and Winchester. So think carefully what you vote. Liberal Democrats have got an overwhelming majority. Perhaps they need some opposition. And that comes from somebody who's voted Lib Dem for donkey shears. Getting back to buffers from housing from uh, local woodland, by the way. Not much of a buffer, is it? Couldn't walk a bandy-legged man down there without touching the houses. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. It gives you a little bit of food for thought.